Bright friends, sorry for the big, well, I don't know, holiday or siesta I've been on, but uh, yeah, some stuff that's happened in real life. Uh, first one was pretty innocent. I mean, our my in-laws have been here for like two weeks, so I haven't really been able to sit down and play anything. For that matter, we've been busy doing all sorts of work. As soon as her mom comes, then we need to clean everything and do all sorts of stuff because, you know, that's how moms work, right? Other than that, of course, the Euros have started, so I've been kind of preoccupied with that, which is weird because I usually get super excited about FM when I watch football, but I don't know, not this time, I don't know kind of why. Thirdly, can you see? I don't know. There's a heat wave here. Last week or so or something, it's been 40 degrees, 40 plus sometimes, in the shade that is. It is brutal. Right now it is. I mean, it's only 9 o'clock. I'm already sweating, right? And what's the temperature? Sorry, I'm just checking my phone. Yeah, it's already like 27 degrees at 9 o'clock. It is brutal. Anyways, it's time to get into some action again. I want to get excited about the save again. And, I'm, you know, all with all the Denmark things happening, of course, at the Euros, it's like, we are in the semis. And it's not coming home because Denmark are snatching it. Anywho, time to get, well, suited up, I guess. And, uh, yeah, roll me. Welcome back, friends. Are you crazy here with more Danish dynamite? And uh, yeah, like I said in all the intro bit, like all sorts have happened. What also has happened is our little homestead has gotten 11 total new chicks from two different hens. So we have chicklings everywhere and all sorts have needed to happen. Some of them have been eaten by snakes, all sorts. But uh, yeah, I'll leave a uh, link in the description below to our you know other channel with the, all the real life vlog stuff that's happening. Also, I'll leave my predictions to the Euro Cup, which I actually made a video about, and I think it's still going to go through. Watch it and find out who I'm rooting for. I mean, you probably can't guess it, right? Why, right, right? Anywho, I had to just familiarize myself with this thing, so let's all do it together then, because, yeah, we last met at the Tottenham ga game, where we smashed them 2-0. Of course we did, because Tottenham are crap in FM, apparently. Then beat West Ham 3-0, drew to City, which is kind of annoying. It was a home. I actually remember that match now. Beat Crystal Palace, easy peasy, Hall in the FA Cup. Beat Norwich as well. Drew versus West Brom, because of course you do, right? And, not surprisingly, we got wrecked by Watford. And by the way, there's one thing about that's pretty funny about Watford. <clears throat> they are managed by a Danish legend of the sport, Jundel Thomason. Newcastle fans will remember him because he played for them, like, I don't know how long, but I remember he has, like, one of the biggest not, howlers or whatever, like, the biggest misses in the Premier League history. That was for Newcastle. He's basically literally open goal, like 30 centimeters or something, and he somehow manages to scrape it over. Pretty funny, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you're a Newcastle fan. But uh, yeah, he's their manager, so I guess that's why he just knows how to beat Danish other other Danish. But um, yeah, today we're going to play Bayern, which is a tough one, away as well in the first knockout round, and play Chelsea away, which is also a tough one because Chelsea are top of the league. Now, granted, it's very tight up there, but uh, yeah, Two above us do have a match in hand, so, but, um, yeah, we are third, and it's not too shabby, but, yeah, it's going to be a test today, but, um, let's just jump into the Bayern match, because I've already set the team, and it's going to look like this. It's going to be Jensen, Christensen, Henson, Poulsen, with still not having goal. Nazi Hoibia. Hoibia, who's having a phenomenal Euro Cup. Uh, Benjamin Jensen, that's the MC, and then Bon Larsen, Damsko, and Wind up front, breaking wind, because, um, why is that? I can't really remember, but we're going with this team. <laughs> oh yeah, because Fakir is still a bit injured. Sorry, I was, I'm, this is so weird because of, I, now I'm watching the Danish team all the time and obviously half of these are regions. So I'm like, well, who's this guy? But uh, yeah, Dumpsko as well having a phenomenal Euro Cup. And uh, yeah, he's someone to watch out for, uh, English fans. But uh, yeah, let's get into the match. Right, well, I told the lads that we are apparently huge underdogs, which you can kind of see why when you actually look at their team. They still just have all the best players from the classic Bayern we know. I mean, Robert Lewandowski. I mean, even though he's 35 now. Yeah, he, he's not so bad. They still have Müller as well. How old is he? 34. I mean, yeah. Neuer. How old is he? 37. He can't run anymore, but I mean, he doesn't need to, right? So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite the challenge. But, um, yeah, we've, we've, I don't know, we've upset other apple carts or something. I'm not sure about that phrase is, but, um, 
Yeah, of course. Oh, is it our actually chance it, right at the beginning? That would be lovely. Come on, get, go on then. Dumb score. I did just predict. Uh, upsetting pear and apple and kiwi cards and all sorts. That is some lovely, lovely fruit uh, stuff. Yes, fruit, fruit. Yes, just fruit. Fruit everywhere. Brun Larsen with the nice cross to dump score. That was a sick goal. Blah, 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 blah. Oh no. An immediate highlight after the. Uh, what's it called? Kickoff? Oh no. Oh, go on. Good tackle there. Jensen f to win. Go on, lad. Go on. <sighs> oh, you need to be scoring that. But uh, yeah. That was the one of the advantages of having an old Noya because he couldn't run, so he literally just stood still, and we got caught off guard by that. Right, well, 30 minutes passed now, and we start off with a, what's that, a goal kick? Oh my god, I, I've, I've forgotten all the football terms suddenly. That's, guess what, that's what happens when you don't play FM for like a, or at least don't commentate FM for like a month time, so yeah, again, apologies for that, but uh, of course, people in the future, it doesn't really matter, uh, can all just watch, and I don't think I have anyone actually like watching it live, per se, so who almost cares? I mean, I care, so Sane is now in, and so I'm just... Come on, Sane. Apparently, Leno Leroy Sane cares as well. Which is a bit of a shame, but good go by him. Yeah, by all means, let's see it again. I mean, it's kind of a missed header from Paulson, and Müller just crosses it. Uh, are we allowed to see it? Yeah, Sane just tucks it in. Stenop, could you do more? You definitely could have at least tried. Right, well, pretty much nothing else has happened in that half, so it's a pretty boring affair, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Oh, I'm pleased with how it's going, because I actually... I don't know if I am. I'm always usually pleased when I'm winning, but um, yeah, let's just mind game them a little bit. Like I said, it kind of works versus the big teams. Just say you're pleased even though it's a draw and you kind of want to be winning. But I mean, we have the away goal, which is massive, massive, massive in the Champions League, of course. But um, yeah, they're kind of fighting their way back into it. So let's not give away too many silly things, but um, sure, if we can press them high here and maybe win the ball back as the Turk, Mert Mulder. Goes forward and now to Sane again. Of course, he's in high spirits after the goal. I mean, you're not going to score from there, but sure, try by all means. Right, well, 60 minutes. I was going to make a change, but of course we have a throw-in, so that means, oh, that means goal. And apparently we are going to give them a goal. Sane now. Yep, yeah, just do what you did last time. Ooh, that was a sick tackle by Christensen. As my camera is going mental, I can see it. Maybe it's because I moved out of... What? What's happening? Oh, apparently it's a goal review. Well... I mean, I can't see if it's in. But thank you. Thank you, SI. I mean, we literally can't see if it's in or not. But uh, yeah, we're going to make some changes here because some of the players are not playing very well. Bungor can come on for for Jensen in the middle. And Nicolas Nagy is playing a shocker. So let's get Julesko in there. Straight swaps. Easy peasy. Not much to do. And then let's encourage the lad. <clears throat> okay, we have a corner now. Damsko. Go on, lad. Go on. Kim Hansen. Kim Hansen, sorry. I forgot his name there for a second, but holy moly, we scored. And it was from a corner, nonetheless. Great, great stuff. Damsko gets the assist. But great corner. As my scout is running around, well, scouting, hopefully. Henson with the goal. Nicely done, lads. Oh, well, I was going to make a change anyways. There's 10 minutes left, and some of the players... I mean, Leonard Jensen is struggling for fitness, and he's also playing a 6.5. We'll just put uh, Jakob Kristensen down there. You know, our ball went in. So, um, yeah, he, he plays right back as well. I think he's naturally kind of a right back. We just <coughs> played him as a ball winner. But, yeah, let's hope he doesn't get a, a red card, which is like something he loves to do when he's put on. Go on. Oh, that was a sneaky a heel from Vint there. Go on, Bungo. Oh, he tries to chip him. Oh, well, not too bad. Christensen now moving forward. This is where he gets the red card. Just cross it. Please don't get countered upon now. Damn score. Oh, is it going to be a pen? New. No. Oh, please win that ball. Yes, just shoot from... Oh, that was a sneaky ball to Bun Larsen. Holy moly. Hoibia with the Euro Cup assist making. It's amazing. Sadly, Bun Larsen is not at the Euro I think he might be injured or something up to... I actually don't really know. But uh, yeah, that was a sick... Look at that pass from Hoibia. In between the lines and then Bun Larsen. Great finish as well. Holy moly. Definitely worth me putting this thing on and sweating like a, well, lack of better term, a pig. But uh, yeah, now you know if I just suddenly do, I, if I just suddenly pass out, it's not because I'm, it's not because I'm having a bloody heart attack, it's just from the heat. So yeah, sorry if that happens, but um, yeah, I mean, what, what did I even do? Okay, we did our job, looked impressive, that was, what a result. 
what an absolute result. Uh, three one winners and youths. Let's just see, because uh, I'm interested about the stats. So like actually very even game, but uh, yeah, we just we finished better and uh, yeah, holy moly, that is amazing. Um, Chelsea coming up in three days, so uh, stay tuned. Right, and we are back for the Chelsea match, and uh, yeah, I've made a few changes because some of our players are a little bit knackered. Damsko, after having a great game last game, he's sadly a little bit knackered. So what I've done is I've put La uh, one last one out on the left, and then I've put um, Peter Christiansen, who's finally back to some fitness and stuff. Like um, he can play out on the right. Remember, he had a very very good start to the season, eight goals in eight matches it was. But um, yeah, since then he got injured, and then he got injured again, and um, yeah, Fakir is also back. He's he's fully he's fit enough to play. So um, Jonas Vin didn't have. He had that one one on one chance, and uh, yeah, the, the, he didn't play that overly amazing considering we won 3 1 anyways. So, Fagir's back in the scene, and let's have him. And of course, we owe Chelsea after last time, so yeah, let's go give them back their money, or uh, I'm not sure, but yeah. As you can see, it's kind of a scary team, right? The Tori Martin is Sancho Felix Havers. Havers is out on the right, which I guess is the. It's not too shabby for us, but uh, yeah, Felix and Sancho, that is pretty scary. Um, Chilwa Reese, I mean, yeah, oh yeah, Emil Auduru, uh, whoever that is on goal, I remember that. Uh, sure, bragging rights and all sorts, and uh, yeah. Frank Lambert was being very complimentary about me uh, in the press conference, saying that, oh, I have so many domestic players. That is true. That is very, very true indeed. Right, well, the first highlight seems to start with Chelsea on the ball. I've encouraged the lads because, ooh! Because that's why. That is why I encourage them. Come on, Bolasen. Five with a free kick. Oh, are we winning that? Just shoot, shoot. Benny Minionson. Oh, sneaky one, sneak. But oh, dear, oh, saves it. And now he launches it forward. Please don't. You're. It's like six versus two. But of course, Sancho does Sancho things. Okay, you're not scoring from there. Sane has already proved that. Chilwell with the free kick to Sancho, so this is always terrifying. Look how like, up for it he is, Sancho, and then that is just, that is way too easy. Like, uh, shouldn't we be making a tackle or something or something? I mean, actually, never mind. That is just way too easy. I was going to do the, I was just going to change my fullbacks to support, but I mean, now we need a goal, so why on earth would I change anything? Like, but that is so rubbish. I guess that's just what you get when you have such quality up front, right? But you want to see a bit of better defending there, surely. I mean, we're at home. Come on, lads. Fakir. Close. Inches wide, apparently. If I do this, it's not because I'm shocked. I'm just wiping sweat off my forehead. So, <laughs> little insight to uh, how life is here. And there we go. It's Kim Hansen again. Straight from the corner. This time it's one last one, of course, because Damsko is not starting. But, um, yeah, Kim Hansen with another goal. I mean, I'm getting a sneaky, a sneaky angle here. He just rises highest. Good job, lad. Is he, like, super tall or anything? Oh, he is 195. Uh, ignore that one, whatever that was. Hmm. I'm going to say I'm not happy. I'm going to go against what I did, well, the other game. But let's see if we can fire them up and say, We are at home. Come on, lads. Give him to him. And not just the money we owe them and all sorts. No, we want to we wanna win. We want to smack them. Uh, not like that, hope yeah. That's not how we win by passing them the ball. Of course, oh, okay, nice and easy. Of course, they do have more stars than us, remember, in reputation. So there is always a chance that we will just pass the ball to them. That is how FM works. But uh, this is going to be maybe the longest highlight in the world. Um, so let's just all take a nap while this is occurring. Oh, nice ball to Christiansen there, and he has to pull it back to his left. Narty, go on, lad. Fakir. That is why you put him up front, even though he's not maybe quite sharp enough. But uh, yeah, he just actually scores goals. If it was wind, he would have just broken wind there, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, great hold up play there from Christiansen. Then Narty with the assist, right? It is him. Yeah, just a sneaky ball to Fagia, I guess. And they're not marking him, to be fair. So yeah, good job, lad. I was going to... Oh, come on. Are we going to counter? Come on, Christiansen. You already set up one goal, at least. Maybe not. Ooh, come on. Okay, to your left again. Go on then. Narty. You really, really should have done better there, I guess. But, mm, I mean, it was on target, I guess. But, 
by all sorts of advices flowing in, but I, I'm going to ignore every single one, and then I'm going to make a change. Hoybier is not having a good game, and you've seen it. He's already thrown away the ball once, so I'm going to get Jules on as the deep line playmaker, but I'm actually going to quickly change him to... I mean, you probably can't see this, yeah, because of my beautiful, beautiful face, but I changed him to a defend ball, uh, deep line playmaker, so... Hopefully, create a bit more stability as he just won the ball there. That was beautiful. Yeah, okay. Nice hold up play there again. Took his chance. And he's really on fire this game, isn't he? I mean, go on then. Jules score. I mean, maybe the defend one hasn't kicked in yet because he was <laughs> literally in the area, right? But uh, it goes close. And stats suggest we are dominating these fools at Stamford Bridge. It's time for some Viking revenge out there. As I'm just waffling through, I'm going to make a change. But what am I going to change? Benjamin Jensen's not having a good game. Let's just get Bungo in there. Shadow Striker, he loves it. Um, yeah, why not? Press legs and let us scream, focus! Focus, camera! Focus! Please! <gasps> Paulson hacks the ball off the line, it says. <laughs> well, okay, if it's... Oh, go on then! Because Jensen again, he really is up for this one, isn't he? But um, yeah, good defending by Impado there. Oh, Norty now, that's not doing anything silly, you'll go. I, I'm just always worried, <laughs> so worried, right? Well, we definitely have the better of the game, and he, Chris Jensen is really up for it. Jensen, come on. Please don't. Okay, okay, okay. Like you, can t you can tell, right? I'm terrified. I know what's going to happen. We're going to pass it straight to them. And they're just going to run down and score because Martinez has 800 acceleration and stuff like. And Yusuf Demir and it's in Sancho. Am I? Uh, is that jinxing it or I mean? So with that having having said that, what are we going to do? Leonard Jens is not having a good game. We're going to do that. We're going to go from positive to balance. We're going to put these ones on uh, more supportive duty. Yes more supportive duty. What else can we do here? Because Jensen, I don't want to change him, but I will change Bun Larsen. Bun Go. Yeah, let's just make an advanced playmaker on support. Let's just try and calm this down. Not get as many people forward. I don't want to... I didn't change Jensen because he's been, like, you've seen it. I've mentioned it eight times already. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin his jive. But uh, yeah, I mean, it saw it out. Literally nothing has happened ever since I made those slight changes. Proud of the performance. I am indeed. I really, really am. We almost threw it away there at the end, but uh, somehow we did not. And we are now top of the league. Top of the league. It is exciting. But Chelsea do have a... Oh, that is the wrong button. But um, Chelsea do have a match at hand. So yeah. And actually, United have two matches at hand. So it's very tight up there. But uh, yeah, still, what's that? Uh, nine and no, 11 matches to go, right? Suddenly, math was very difficult. Lord Crystal Palace not having a fun season. Uh, Tottenham again! What is going on with Tottenham? And they still have Kane, Sung Kyung Min. What is going on? Why are Tottenham so crap in this game? Unless, of course, I'm the one managing him. Link in my description for my Twitch because sometimes, well, I did at some point, but uh, yeah, come watch that as well. So, all sorts of links in the description, and um, yeah, where are we going to come back? It's going to be definitely we want to see the Bayern Munich again, and then maybe some. Arsenal, maybe some United. I'm not quite sure. I mean, actually, look at this. Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Bayern, me and United. That is terrifying. Terrifying indeed. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I need to get this thing off because I am sweating. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like, like, press like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, come back for some more Danish Dynamite. Ciao!